Hi, I'm Jessica Cartaglia with your evening digital news brief for Friday, January 27th. A Delaware County mayor was arrested last night on suspicion of driving under the influence. Officials say that Upper Darby Mayor Barbara Ann Keffer was seen driving on Route 322 in Chichester Township with a flat tire and a broken headlight. Police say she had slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and unstable balance. She was taken to the police department where officers say she refused a blood test. We have a statement from the mayor's office on our website. The rivalry is heating up between the Eagles and 49ers with Niners fans looking to make their presence known at Sunday's championship game. There are several 49ers fan chapters in Philadelphia and New Jersey and this weekend several hundred of the hundreds of those fans are planning a pep rally and tailgate in Philly but they're also doing some good in this city. One fan chapter says that they've donated gloves and hats to those experiencing homelessness in Kensington. Lincoln Financial Field is looking good for Sunday's big game. Chopper 3 flew over the stadium this afternoon. 48 hours from now, it will be packed with Eagles fans. Ground crews spent much of today repainting the field and the Eagles logo. They say there's still some work to do. If you're hoping to score tickets to the game, we checked out the prices this morning. Standing room only tickets were sold out on StubHub, although we did find some on Ticketmaster. On StubHub, upper level tickets were about $800. You can get a ticket in the lower level right at the 50 yard line for about $1,400. If you want to watch the game at the club level, you can expect to pay about $2,000. Security in and around the stadium is top of mind heading into game day weekend. Philadelphia police are once again planning to grease the poles to prevent fans from climbing up if the Eagles win. Police have also put up barricades near City Hall for crowd control. Meanwhile, SEPTA Transit Police are working extra hours on Sunday. Riders can expect to see an increased police presence on the trains and platforms. You can always get the latest on these stories and more on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.